Benz. I was paying his car now and I was just driving his car. Roughly around 10, I'd say 10. What's that? After my first shot, I actually did get a car and I got a Range Rover. At least for the Range Rover, about 60K. I leased the car because I really didn't, I didn't want it. Like, like I said, I really wanted, you know, the Rolls Royce, but people just kept talking me out of it. A few of my teammates, you know, all the guys that really know what's going on, they said, man, just, just wait. I'm not gonna buy a car until I can buy this car. Marshawn spent 70,000 on car leases. And initially, I was very confused by this. So I am confusion. Why is this one Kansas, but this one is not Arkansas? America, explain! Explain! What do you mean in Arkansas? However, this was better than buying a brand new car. And here's why. Leasing works best when you want to have a newer car every few years and want to have the lowest monthly payments possible. Car leases tend to be a fixed term of 24 to 36 months. And generally, 10 to 15 miles or the equivalent 16 to 24 kilometers are allotted to the driver per year. Drive more than that per year and you'll have the privilege of paying excess mileage fees. Leasing, rather than buying a new car, also prevents one from going through the trouble of trying to sell that car if you don't want it no more. I ain't gonna say it no more. Put some respect on my name. You understand me? When y'all saying my name, put some respect on This is due to the fact that you're not buying a new car for say $100,000 and then later selling it for $60,000. Rather, just driving it during the depreciation without paying full price or the full cost of the car. Now, leasing a new car is better than buying one. But of course, the best financial decision, the best course of action is to buy a used car three to five years old that's already experienced much of its depreciation and driving another three to five years. So about six to 10 years total before the car starts having maintenance issues now due to the heavy mileage. So you wanna avoid the heavy depreciation, but also the heavy maintenance costs with a car that's been run to the dirt, essentially.